What's up everybody, Bandit and Chad here for another Taco Tuesday. So we have been getting some questions recently about the infamous Taco Lean. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, basically what it is, is the truck just squatting slightly more on the driver's side than on the passenger side. And the people that were asking about this wanted to know if this was a normal thing and what could be done about it, uh, whether it was normal or not. And uh, from what we have gathered and, and what we've found out from talking to some other people is it is normal and you know I have noticed it on my truck uh, this one and the previous Tacoma that I had but to me it wasn't that big of an issue but basically the reason uh, that it occurs is the way these trucks come from the factory uh, at least in American spec you do have your battery your steering column your fuel tank and when you're driving uh, by yourself the driver all on the left side the driver's side of the truck and all of that extra weight does cause the truck to just slightly lean to the left now it's no huge lean you know it, it's not like uh, you're gonna be rubbing going down the road on your left side and the right sides all jacked up in the air uh, but it is slightly noticeable and uh, you know it, it does bother some people and you know it may not be super apparent when you just have the factory suspension but I've heard when you go to a softer spring setup or a softer shock setup it'll actually squat even more because this uh, uh, springs and shocks are a good bit softer right now they do have a couple solutions to this I know that a few companies do have sort of a spacer plate that you can add it's you know three eighths or five eighths of an inch or something like that that you can put on the left side of your truck to raise up just that little bit and get everything sitting exactly level uh, you know I, I definitely don't think this is a necessary thing to do because uh, obviously Toyota markets the Tacoma just for the American market as of right now and it's it's not a huge issue to them so I wouldn't have it worry you too much but if it does bother you that is one thing you could do about it so kind of relating to what we were just saying um, the Toyota Hilux in the early days of the Toyota truck um, were built for other markets other than the United States so with it being that way the steering wheel was on the right side as opposed to the left side that we're used to so the design of those trucks is a little bit different than what we have now so those um, taco leans might be a little different and I don't know did was the fuel tank at any point on the right side as well I honestly couldn't tell you but if you do have one of those trucks and you do know feel free to comment in but you know we're kind of guessing that again as he was saying those early Toyota trucks and the earlier forerunners they probably were more balanced out since they were designed for those other markets then when everything came here just everything was shifted to the left side so again I really wouldn't let that bother you I mean obviously Toyota does all of the testing and everything necessary to bring some of these trucks to market and and everything like that so I wouldn't find it to be a huge issue but just know when you would change up your suspension and go to a softer setup it may lean even more but there are parameters that you could fix that you know with those little uh, spacer plates and, and everything else so looking here at the back of my TRD off-road obviously some of this will change if you have a TRD Sport a TRD Pro or a SR5 or whatever you know they do have slightly different shocks uh, I believe they do all have the same springs but we'll go ahead and measure and see how much Tacoma lean this truck has so looking here at the driver's side here we'll go from the ground to the corner of your uh, step bumper here it's just below 28 inches Moving over here to the passenger side, we're looking at about 28 and a half inches. So again, this probably isn't too big of a deal. You know, that much lean isn't really too big of a factor, but uh, with a full tank of fuel, which I have right now, the battery on the left, the steering column on the left, and also I keep my toolbox behind my driver's seat, uh, again, on that driver's side, left side, uh, it will weigh down your truck a little bit, causing that little bit of a squat. Now again, I really wouldn't let this worry you, and if you have a passenger that's a good bit heavier than Chad, it should level itself out. So for news this week, the New York Auto Show is going on as we speak, and a lot of uh, new concepts will be coming out hopefully at that show, one of them being the Toyota FT4X concept that we were talking about last week. Now unfortunately that does come out tomorrow, so we will have to wait another week before we can uh, talk about all that with you all. But uh, there are a couple things that came out before the show that we had he been hearing about, so we'll go ahead and cover those now. So one of those being the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. Now basically it is what everyone was asking for. It is the Hellcat motor 
in a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now that all will be routed through an all wheel drive quadra track type system, uh, but everything has been really, really beefed up to deal with that 707 horsepower and the 645 foot pounds of torque that uh, are made by that motor. Now, somehow when you route that motor through that all wheel drive system in that really, really hefty Jeep, it does get zero to 60 in three and a half seconds, which is really a mind blowing number. They're claiming that that is one of the fastest, oh, it is the fastest actually, gas powered SUV, uh, at least in the Americas right now. So that is obviously pretty exciting. It likely will be pretty expensive. We haven't heard any uh, pricing announcements for that yet, but you know, with the SRT Grand Cherokee already being you know, a pretty hefty price tag. This is going to be well above that and should be pretty expensive. But if it is what you want, you know, that is that is certainly an exciting vehicle to drive. Right. Also, uh, Chevrolet actually has done something interesting for, <laughs> first time in a long time, it seems like. They're bringing us what they're calling a Tahoe RST. Now, RST stands for Rally Sport Truck, they're calling it. And basically what that allows you to get is an appearance package and a power bump with your Tahoe. So with the RST package, you are able to get the 6.2 liter V8 instead of the normal, I believe it's a 5.3 that normally comes in those. And uh, that'll give you a good bit more horsepower. You can also get optional Brembo brakes and some other things. But uh, this package will also be available for the Suburban, but I believe it's just more of a appearance package for the Suburban. You, you do get all of the performance upgrades with the Tahoe. So if you are more interested in a sporty Tahoe and a, a faster Tahoe, be sure to look into one of those. Right, so uh, Nissan um, actually is showing a new um, Rogue, let's see, a Trail Warrior is what they're calling it. Now this is very similar to the Winter Warrior, um, but with this package you're going to be getting a camo wrap, a worn winch, and I guess just more of an aggressive package all around. Um, I'll be kind of interested to see what the reception on, on that is. Um, that's kind of a different take on a vehicle that we wouldn't quite expect to be getting a package like that. Um, right, with, with the, trink, the uh, tank tracks and everything oh like yeah, that. Oh yeah, especially with the tank tracks. Yeah, um, those are quite unexpected for that, I'd say. Um, as far as Toyota news goes, though, uh, Toyota is investing $1.33 billion in their Kentucky plant, which builds their Avalon and Camry. Um, they're going to be advancing their technologies a little bit, getting things a little bit more up to speed, um, whether it's uh, plastic injection, molding, uh, just different types of technologies that they are doing to uh, kind of keep up with the market. Um, so that's all the news we really have for today. All right, so again, the Toyota FT4X concept will be coming out tomorrow in New York, and a lot of other uh, things will be coming out in New York. I, I know the, it's not truck news, but the Dodge Demon will be coming out. Uh, mm -hmm. this evening actually so be sure and stay tuned to all that let us know what you think in the comments below thank you all very much for watching have a fantastic week everybody catch you next time see you guys